there are currently some people trying to figure out the exact timing of everything of pistons and repeaters under all conditions. This is mainly inspired by the tick speed mod because now you can see things in slow motion if you want to. So people use the tick speed mod and their eyes to see what's going on and additionally often command blocks clocks are used which with a tick score which gets incremented. On the right you can see a tick score and then you can also use command blocks to print out that tick score. And I want to see whether this testing setup is really sufficient to determine the exact timing of everything and show two examples where it might not be sufficient. But first, generally, um, command blocks have a one game tick delay. I think that's common knowledge, but that's something important that you should keep in mind if you use command blocks if you to measure something. I will just show it in slow motion because we have a tick speed mod and then you can see that's really one block per second and if you have a tick speed of one that means one block every game tick yeah however th this would not be a problem if all command blocks always had one game tick delay but there is a problem because if a command block is directly activated through a client side input then can sometimes be instant. So you saw lever flicked and the question block was placed within the at exactly the same time. So look at it again. The time where the lever flicks down, the western block is there instantly. And that is a problem. Because that means that command blocks have inconsistent delay sometimes. So you need to watch out for that. I have another command block which will play the sound of a lever where we can see that we only hear once the sound of a lever and if there was any kind of delay we would hear the sound of a lever twice so if you activate a command block directly through a lever it will not have that delay this means that command blocks have inconsistent timing and this can cause trouble so one thing that could for example cause trouble is right here right here we have two command blocks which print out the tick speed and in between when we have an instant repeater and if we just flip the lever we can see that the first command block prints out 81 and the second one 82 so you could follow from that that there's a one game tick delay but the problem is that this one is directly connected to the lever and activates instantly because of the inconsistent timing while this one is activated to a western block like all the other command blocks and therefore you get a one game tick delay and therefore the delay is not in the repeater necessarily but in the command block switch um, but some people think that this instant repeater has a one game tick delay if it's directly um, activated by lever and this theory that this repeater has also one game tick delay is also supported by the fact that the redstone here turns off on before the redstone here turns on and they also use that. But um, the reason this redstone turns on and off after this redstone is something different and that's mainly a client server desynchronization because the client can't deal with any kind of advanced piston technology. It can't deal with pistons. You can even use this as a basis of a ghost block generator because it has some desynchronization. So, um, the client would never ever manage to correctly calculate that the redstone block gets here instantly within zero ticks. The client doesn't manage that. So the client doesn't turn on the redstone until the next game tick where the server tells him to turn on the redstone. And the fact that this redstone turns on one game tick after this is even supports actually that this is instant because if this would take one game tick you can be sure that the client would need at least another game tick to resynchronize with the server. There would probably uh, be a two game tick delay if this really took one game tick. Now we can use node blocks to demonstrate that the two things activate at the same time. That's mm -hmm. not a very... It's, it's a very weak kind of basis. Um, but the main thing I want to say is not that this thing is instant. The main thing I want to say is that command blocks plus looking with tick speed mod can be insufficient. That's 
that's that's the main thing. Um, if you use MC Edit to look how the world looks directly after you flick the lever, it also looks like the redstone turns on directly. Um, yeah, but I wa mainly want to say that command blocks plus looking with TX speed mode can be wrong because command blocks have inconsistent delay sometimes. And what you see with the TX speed mode is the client side of things, not the server side of things. Okay, another thing which has been done using command blocks in TX speed mode is that some people think that this repeater has only one game tick delay in this configuration. And you can see here again we have two command blocks which print out the ticks and this one fires one game tick before this one. And we can again see that which I'm going to have if we make this we can also see that the redstone turns on and one second later the repeater turns on. Okay, now where, what's the problem here? Um, I will just um, do this again and look at the delay at which we are printed. So, um, and I will go a little bit more down to to this maybe. Yeah. So now there should be one tick happening every four seconds. So if I flick this lever, we have one, two, three, four, one tick. And we have the second tick. Now uh, it's done. It's a bit longer. But the first one gets activated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't count it seconds, but on YouTube you can see that this is more than four ticks, which have uh, four seconds, which happens between the two things getting printed out. I think you should be able to see that, that this was actually. 8 seconds which it the game needed to between this command block and this command block but why does the second command block print out 39 and the first one 38 if there's a 2 game tick delay between them and that has to do with update order because repeaters have um, tile ticks with a very weird um, priority they update really really early they actually update before the full clock increments the score. And this update ordering can screw up things. Um, so um, for example here we have a command block that says 1 and here one that says 2. And if we activate one with a full clock, first this one activates and then this one activates. But if we use any kind of repeaters or comparators we can change the update order. So you see here the 2 activated and then with 1 activated. So repeaters and comparators can change the update order of things. And in this contraption what actually happens is when this one gets activated and with the this one gets activated first the full clock increments the score and then this one prints out. That's normally how it normally works with all the other command blocks which print out. But since repeaters come really really early in the update order it this command block print actually prints out the ticks before the ticks get incremented. So um, when this command block printed out 39, we were actually already in the 40 tick. But the command block, the full clock hasn't incremented the score yet. So this one printed this out the score, I the tick score I had before the command block increased it, and therefore. Um, Again, command blocks and looking with tick speed mod can give you the conclusion that this one has a one game tick delay, but that might actually not be correct. I, I'm not quite certain whether it's a one or two game tick delay. It looks like a two game tick delay to me because um, if you use sounds again. There were two seconds between those two gust screams. So I I think it's a oh that's good. So I think that's a two game tick delay, but it might be a one game tick delay, but my main point is that looking with tick speed mod and looking which redstone turns on and command blocks are not always sufficient to determine the exact timing. And I think that 
even here there is some kind of minor client server desynchronization because you can see the redstone connects one game tick before it turns on but redstone won't connect to a block 36 redstone will only connect to a redstone block so we can so the redstone block is probably already where one game tick before the client turns on the redstone and if we check things with MC edit it also says the same thing because with the tick speed mod you can pause at very exact timing and save at very exact timing but um, I don't want to say that MC edit is super accurate either because if you save things it can also change things for example if we flick this lever and save and quit to title at a very exact timing it can actually change the outcome so right here the piston did not extend even though it should extend if we do something like this so that's my main point my main point is um, you need more than just command blocks printing out things and looking with tick speed mod um, yeah because otherwise you will get some very weird results like saying that our repeater has only one game tick delay which is a very very radical claim yeah um but that's all i think